Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I made a video last night about some Monster High news, but tonight I feel like talking about some bootlegs. I saw some Rainbow High bootlegs earlier that I had seen before, but I didn't know that there was more than just the boy. Which, the boy is interesting enough to me, because there's usually... These companies, these bootleg companies usually don't bootleg the boys, you know? They usually just bootleg the female characters. So it's surprising to see them do one of the male characters. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is I want to talk about a bunch of bootlegs. Rainbow High, Monster High, and anything in between that I found on AliExpress and think is funny. So, this video is not going to be structured the best, but we're just here to laugh at things, so. <laughs> with that said, let's begin with the Rainbow High bootlegs. These ones are similar to the Satella Brown ones, where they all say Papo Rao Rao. Rowo. It's supposed to be Poppy Rowan, but they replaced the last letters with O's for some reason. And they did the same thing with their name. It's called Rain Rainbon Higo. Because um that's not an H at the end, so it's Higo instead of High. So this is one of the first Bella bootlegs that I've seen. I believe I covered another one that was made that kind of looked more akin to a Barbie body once, but yeah, this one is like, blatantly based on Pacific Coast Bella for some reason. Uh, the body is interesting. A lot of extra joints where they usually aren't. Her head is off color from the rest of her body, and she comes with a bizarre bunny-shaped object, object next to her. I don't know what that is. Um, they got Poppy's artwork, and it looks like the junior high boxes of all things, and it says, let's live together, happy together. Let's together bath. This line of bootlegs also features a Stella, who, um, at least they tried to make it look like, <laughs> like, they tried to make her look like the artwork, because this one, no attempt was made. For some reason, they inexplicably used Poppy's artwork for a Bella bootleg, and then, I don't know, these bootlegs never make sense. Her hair appears more red to me, and she looks like she's balding. They got the crown, she once again has a bizarre little bunny thing, the body looks weird as ever, and the faces, to be honest, remind me of those um, Shibajuku girls that came out a couple years back. That's what they look like to me. And of course, you can't have a bootleg Bella without a bootleg Jade. You gotta keep the girlfriends together at all costs. So here is bootleg Jade, who, to be honest, I'd say of the bunch looks the most accurate to the doll that she's ripping off, you know? Like, they got the outfit pretty accurate for the most part. They got the split pants. They got her shirt that says Los Angeles on it, like... There was a slight bit of an attempt here. Now, I did mention that one of the bootlegs caught my eye, and it's this one of River. They actually made his skin darker than it's supposed to be. Usually these companies take away the character's melanin in their skin, but for River, they added some. Usually these bootleg companies don't bother making darker skinned characters, so this one is just very interesting to me that they actually tried to make one. I don't know. It looks nothing like River is supposed to. They gave him purple hair instead of blue. So they got the color of his hair wrong. Like, that's something they've been able to do with all the others. Okay. Bad example. This one has red hair. But Bella has her pink hair. Jade has her green hair. So I don't get how they landed on purple for him. Like, red for her, I can kind of see it's close enough to magenta. But yeah, I don't know. Interesting, really. So, yeah, this one was kind of the reason I wanted to make this video. It's just so bizarre to me. Like, the other characters, they got pretty close to how they're supposed to look, but with River, they just didn't. And once again, bootleg companies usually don't bother making more than one skin tone, let alone, like, a dark skin tone, so that just surprised me. Once again, this is what I'm used to. These are the bootlegs I'm used to seeing for Rainbow High. I also found this bizarre bootleg that may or may not be Rainbow High inspired on Reddit. It was called Girls Times. And when looking at the body, to be honest, I do see a resemblance to Rainbow High. Although it does look more like the Barbie curvy body to me. The head seems Rainbow High adjacent with the large size and the seemingly inset eyes. So to be completely honest, I don't know if this one constitutes as a Rainbow High bootleg, but I did see this posted to the Rainbow High Reddit, which I'm not a member of. I just saw it when I googled Rainbow High bootlegs. There's also these sets of Satella Brown bootlegs. Uh, these two seem to be Poppy, based on the outfit, but 
the hair is giving more Bella. Uh, these ones, unlike the other uh, bootlegs made under the Satella Brown umbrella, I guess? These dolls feature painted eyes instead of the inset ones, and the head sculpt looks much more similar to a standard rainbow high doll. The body, however, does not, and maybe it's just the clothes making the body look different, but the body to me just kind of looks like one of those standard bootleg Barbie bodies, so they're putting in even less effort than before. I don't even think this one has articulation. Once again, for reference, this is how Satella Brown usually looks. She usually has a fully articulated body compared to this doll, who does not? I also found these budget, smaller boxed versions of Satella Brown, so it looks like she is still being produced to this day. Which is surprising, considering this bootleg is over two years old at this point. But yeah, looks like somewhere in the world these are still being pumped out and ordered and sent to stores. I have never seen one in person, and I don't think I ever will, because on AliExpress these cost almost $40 for a bootleg product. It's crazy. In other news, with Monster High bootlegs, these ones have been popping up on AliExpress fairly often. These are bright by the brand Ardonna Girls, which I've made several videos about Ardonna Girls. Their bootlegs are surely a sight to behold. They're usually pretty decently made, but like they'll make their own design. Sometimes they'll even try to recreate existing lines, which is always funny. But nowadays they just kind of seem to be doing whatever. Case in point, White Claudine. This is clearly Claudine's sculpt, but it overall looks nothing like her. This outfit is certainly an outfit. <laughs> I'd say this one looks better of the two. Like, if you wanted to make a custom out of this, she could be like a cute little clown girl or something, but I see no potential with this one. This one's just a mess. Some other interesting bootlegs are these Wednesday ones, which have multiple packaging variants. These are just the basic ones themed around the Wednesday show. This one is the character Enid. And I believe these are the reason that Mattel decided to do an official Wednesday collaboration. They saw these bootleg dolls and they're like, shit, we can do that. So they decided that they would. I do not work for Mattel, I am just theorizing. But these bizarre Wednesday bootlegs must sell decently well for them to have two different packaging variants aside from the initial one, themed around the Electrified line from G2 and Boo York, Boo York of all things. Definitely very random. Not to mention, these are exactly the, ex the exact same dolls. Like, the shoes are the same, the faces are the same, the hair is the same, the dolls are balding in the same places. So whoever is taking these stock photos seems to only have one set of these dolls to use, which is interesting. Or who knows, maybe the rooting quality and everything else is so consistent across all of them that they're bald in the same places and have the exact same placement of their screenings that they all look the same all the time. I don't know. <laughs> The electrified one is the weirdest to me. This line did not do that well. Why are they making bootlegs of it? I also wanted to talk about these Ever After High bootlegs in this in this um, segment. I believe I've talked about these before. They're called Fairy Tale Girl, and they almost look kind of right. Like it looks like they managed to get their hands on an Ever After High head sculpt to recreate their heads, but they couldn't get a body because they're using a Monster High body. You can tell by the hands. I don't know. I feel like I've seen these before. I feel like maybe I've talked about them before, but once again, interesting. <laughs> they certainly tried harder on these than they do on most of their other bootlegs, but wait, I'm talking about this like this is Ardonna Girl. This isn't Ardonna Girl. This is a different brand. This is Fairy Tale Girl. <laughs> Another bootleg that I came across was this one by the Kai BB Princess line. Kai BB Princess is another Ever After High bootleg line that existed. Um, Ardonna Girls was another prevalent one that made a lot of, like, really decent-looking fakes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get into it because I haven't researched this topic in a while, so I'll admit I forgot most of my knowledge on the subject. Sorry, water bottle fell over. Had to pick that up. But this one seems to be based on the back-to-school Okay, no, not the back-to-school line, the, like, Power Princess line where the characters had, like, sculpted leggings and really ugly dresses. So, that could be, like, any late 2015 to 2016 Ever After High release, to be honest. I do have more Ever After High fakes that I would like to cover in a video sometime, but to be honest, I would need to, like, write out a script for them because I don't want to miss any details, like I definitely am right now. But yeah, these bootlegs are just bizarre to me. 
I was always surprised that Ever After High bootlegs existed at all, because the line didn't do nearly as well as Monster High did. Ever After High just wasn't making the same kind of money that Monster High did. So the fact that it had bootlegs at all is surprising to me. Although, you know, sales have never stopped bootleggers before. Novi Stars had tons of bootlegs. Bratzilla's had bootlegs. Like, any line you can think of most likely has a bootleg of it. Except for Pinky Cooper. I don't think I've ever seen a Pinky Cooper bootleg, but I could be wrong. I think of what we've discussed today, the Wednesday bootlegs are still some of my favorites just because of how weird they are. Like, I don't know whose idea this was to just make some bootleg Wednesday Monster High collaboration dolls and to like beat the official company to doing it. Like Mattel announced their Wednesday dolls way after these bootlegs came into existence. (laughs) It's just kind of funny how the bootleggers unintentionally predicted an actual collaboration that would occur. I also really like these weird bootlegs that just... What kind of body are they using? They have so many little joints everywhere. They're so strange looking to me, you know? But yeah, overall, I think I've gone over everything I wanted to. So this video was a lot more unprofessional. I didn't have my thoughts in order, but I just wanted to talk about some of these bootlegs because bootlegs are always an interesting subject to me. Similar to prototypes, I just find myself fascinated by them. (laughs) Prototypes are cool because, you know, it's like something official, you're not supposed to see it. And then bootlegs are just the worst of the worst. They usually suck and they're funny for that reason. I would really like to see new Monster High bootlegs. I feel like they don't pop up as frequently as they used to back in the day. But yeah, that's where we are now. If you guys have any funny bootlegs you'd like to send me, DM them to my Instagram or... um, Yeah, that's the only way I have of being contacted. <laughs> I mean, I guess you guys could, like, try emailing it to me. I have an email address, like, somewhere. I think it's, like, linked to my Instagram. I don't know. But, yeah, just try to DM it to me first. If that doesn't work, try emailing it to me, I guess. I don't know. (laughs) But, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know. And, as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!